we were able to entirely recreate the Frostwalker enchantment in Minecraft using just command blocks. This is just revolutionary. This is the best invention I've ever seen. But just, just Frostwalker. And get this, not only that, but even if there's kelp in the way, it doesn't matter. Even if it's not water, it just, it's just, oh my god, this is so smart. I love this. Even if there's kelp in the way, or seagrass in the way, or sea pickles in the way, then you could just still walk over them. It's fine. Oh my god. This is a revolution. You can just walk. You can just walk and then jump. And of course, we're gonna dive in to see how this entire command chain works, so that we can make something like this. Activate. Frostwalker. But how does this entire setup work? Well, let me show you. So let's take a look at all of these command blocks in detail. But all of the commands are relatively similar. So once we look into one command block, we can immediately see what's going to come in the next one. So I'm going to show you what that means. Let's take a look. So we've got this command and it starts out with slash execute. Now we know what execute means. It means to do or process something. Well, it also means cut off somebody's head, but we're not doing that. Sussy baka. We're, we're processing a command in a special way. So slash execute basically makes a little if statement for us or anything else of that sort. So we're executing this particular command at location EE Gamer. So at us, we're locating it in the location of our player. And now we're making a little if statement that says if block tilde tilde negative one tilde is water, then we run the following command, set block tilde tilde negative one tilde ice. And what does this mean? We're basically checking if the block underneath us is water and we're running this command if it's true. We're setting it to ice, the block under us to ice. And all the other command blocks are where I'm putting all my other commands in, which are basically the same, but they're just changing the block they're targeting. So the second one, for example, is targeting kelp. So if there's any kelp under us, we just set it to ice. The third one for me is seagrass, then tall seagrass, and then the sea pickle. But it doesn't matter which order they're in as long as they're the same. And it's literally as simple as that. It's just, we're checking to see if there's water underneath us. And if there is, we just set it to ice. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. So basically, I'm checking to see if the block under us is any of these. So that includes the water, the kelp, the seagrass, the tall seagrass, and the sea pickle. But another thing to mention is that this command block is on repeat mode, and it can also be either on needs redstone mode or always active mode. When it's on needs redstone, however, it just needs a lever to activate itself, so you don't have to always have it, and maybe you don't want to have it at one point. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. So that's why you can always put a lever on this thing. And after all that work, we got a free frost rock enchantment. Improved. Now you can actually jump. And something else very interesting to notice is that this ice will never melt. The commands for all these command blocks are in the description below, so make sure to check that out. And bam, that's your free Frostwalker enchantment. Just stick a bunch of command blocks, then stick a lever on them, paste the commands, and boom, you're done. And as always, this was eGamer with you, and thank you very much guys for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and if you did, then please make sure to give a like and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to turn on the notifications as well so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. And this was EA Gamer with you with a tutorial on how to make your own Frost Rocker Chairman with Command Block. Once again, thank you very much guys for watching and peace out.